Starfield 4K. And this is 88 frames per second. 79, 80, 80 on the 1% lows. We see our GPU usage, temperatures, clock speed, and 325 watts of power with a custom undervolt profile. Now, we're gonna change drivers here. The one we're actually utilizing is 576.80. We're gonna go way back, not 576.52 or 28, but 572.83. Uh, the one we had installed right now, go ahead and open up our GPU-Z, and that was a fresh install. I ran a driver cleaner, restarted my computer completely, made sure all the settings were the same between my control panel and my drivers. Just gonna take a quick look here. You can see that is 576.80 on the driver. And I'm trying to be consistent with run to run. I'm just loading a save game. So I'm not moving around or anything. I'm just loading my specific profile here. And I'm loading a save game and I'm just standing completely still. And I'm looking at the frame rate and the 1% loads and I'm kind of waiting, making sure there's no loading happening or anything. Um, so now let's give it a try with 572.83. I will be right back. All right, we're installing 572.83. You know, this driver came out three months ago. It came out uh, March 24th. And uh, yeah, I've always thought it was the coolest running, lowest power consumption driver on the 5090, hands down. Now, there are some drivers that may score well in 3D Mark, but there are some drivers that do better in games. Uh, so let's take 576.28, for example. Uh, this score on, let's see, Still Nomad, 15,721. Now with the Founders Edition, completely stock, uh, no shunt mod, nothing on ambient, inside, inside a case. Right, nothing crazy going on here. No cold air, nothing. That's a fantastic score on the Founders Edition. Uh, so, you know, 576.28 is responsible for that. Definitely helps a lot. Uh, anyways, I'll be back uh, momentarily once we have 572.83 installed. We're going to check its performance from a driver now versus a driver three months ago. So here we go. All right, everybody, just got 572.83 installed. And we're gonna go ahead and load up my profile. And we're gonna try Starfield one more time. It's making me build the shaders for some reason. All right, everybody, there you have it. Look at that performance difference. Um, of course, the shader build, I think that just happens when you reinstall a driver, but 9281, 9283. But take a look at the power consumption, 308 watts. 310, 309. This is just, it doesn't even make, like, look, the car's running cooler, everything. I mean, this is driver 572.83, and it's outperforming all of them. And I want to give you an example here of why I know it's outperforming all of them and what I've done here and how many different drivers I've tested. Let me show you my little chart I've done. I've tested four different drivers on my 5090 Founders Edition to look at performance and just get a comparison on power, the frame rate, the 1% lows, things like that. I'm in a save game on Starfield and I just reload the same save. I don't move, I don't do anything. And I look at the performance. Look, it's at 9385. 9385, I mean, that is just, that's phenomenal. Like, I, I can't really explain it and I can't fault this driver. So, you know, I. Highly recommend you all run this test yourself. Um, I go back and forth between games. I'm playing Starfield this week. I was playing Cyberpunk last week. Um, but, you know, check your driver. Check your performance. Because this, this driver is performing phenomenal right now. It's performing phenomenal. And I want to show you my chart. Here we go. All right, here we go. Nothing, nothing super scientific about this. I'm not even moving around in the game. But I've tested this numerous times. I reinstalled. 576.82 times to confirm everything was right, everything was correct, and I'm getting 89 frames per second on 576.80. Standing there, I'm getting eight, I'm, I'm getting 89. Now, every time I load the game, I would stand there and wait. I'm not just getting a number. 
I'm letting the game load. I'm making sure nothing's, you know, no, you know, textures or things are loading in the background. 81 on the 1% lows, 325 watts of power. 576.52, 88, 89. It kept bouncing in between. 88, 89, 88, 89. It just couldn't settle on one. 80 on the 1% lows, same power as 576.80. 576.28, 89, 80 on the 1% lows, 317 on power. Okay, 572.83, 92 frames per second, 82 on the 1% lows. We just saw it was hitting 93. Okay, that was the this is the second time testing 572.83. I wanted to just kind of thoroughly check these. I ran driver cleaner in between every install, okay? I keep DDU right in my documents, okay? I keep it right there. Jump in, bam, do a DDU so I can do a fresh install. I make sure everything is equal. I reopen up my NVIDIA control panel. I always have my uh, texture filtering set to performance so I make sure everything's equal. And uh, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe the results. So I'm kind of wondering what's going on with the driver, right? This isn't a huge difference but it's a difference. It kind of makes me feel like we're not really, really going anywhere. Um, now, some of these drivers have their benefits. Some of them have their negatives. Some have their positives. 572.83 uses the least power and seems to be pulling the highest frame rate. Now, 576.28 performs amazing and still Nomad. So my point here is I would just highly recommend checking your game if you're gonna test a few different drivers. Um, it, you may see different results, okay? I've kind of always noticed that 572.83 runs the highest clock speeds, uses the least power, and performs very well. Now, I haven't checked this across numerous titles. I've checked one other game, and 572.83 was performing the same as like 576.28. Uh, it wasn't performing any worse, neither was performing any better, but it always has seemed to use less power. I don't know why that is. Anyways, I just wanted to make this video to, you know, let you all kind of see um, what what you can expect. I'm not sure what the deal is with NVIDIA drivers, but there's the most four common drivers we have. And just give them a test yourself. Let me uh, reverse these. There we go. Uh, this one is three months old. <laughs> this one just came out a couple days ago. Um, anyways, just an update here. The water block has been delayed a little bit in shipping. I was supposed to get it yesterday. I'm sorry, not yesterday, the 20th. That's what the delivery said. Uh, it's been sitting in Germany somewhere, but the tracking just updated and it's in the United States and it's only a state away from me. So it's like, like Tennessee, right? Um, I'm in North Carolina. I'm expected to get this thing on water cooling very soon. We're gonna be shunt modding it and we're gonna be squeezing some good numbers out of this graphics card, okay? It already does phenomenal inside a case on air. You can go knock out, you know, like 15.7, still Nomad, very good performance for a Founders Edition. I appreciate everybody watching this video. Please like, subscribe, test your drivers. Uh, that's my little sensor there for my 12 volt two by six connector. This thing's been top notch reliable. Now, there's a few downsides with 572.83. When you turn your PC on, your mouse freezes for a few seconds. That's fixed with 576.80. Not a huge performance loss. Now, Starfield's a rasterization game. It doesn't use any kind of ray tracing or anything. Uh, when I was running this benchmark, I was running native 4K, completely native. Um, great performance though. The 5090 is fast enough where we won't notice these. You know, we could share a few frame rates with our friends who have like 3060s or something, right? Um, plenty of power for these cards. Absolutely killing it. Um, anyways, I appreciate everybody watching and hope you all have a good night.